this is a, a, an encyclical that is quite unique because uh, in the past encyclicals were addressed to the Catholics. But this encyclical is addressed to all people. And uh, I think the Holy Father did that because all peoples live in this earth. This earth is our common home. This earth is the home of peoples of different ages, different cultures, different religions. So he, he believes that caring for the common home will bring us as human beings together because all of us are affected by what's happening in the environment. Laudato Si was able to contribute from the Christian perspective. What are we in this world? We are human beings. We have been entrusted by God to take care of creation. We are caretakers. We are stewards. And from that perspective, we review our lifestyle, our attitudes, our consumption habits. One of the key ideas of Laudato Si is integral ecology. And uh, that means we don't take care only of the environment, but we take care also of human beings. Now, when that is the total picture, then we uh, have to ask the question whether our behavior towards the ecology, the environment, is just to human beings and to the environment itself. So the question of ecological justice enters. So it is not really just about uh, activities related directly to the environment. It is a social doctrine because in the use or the abuse of creation of oh, grave issues of justice, fairness, uh, labor laws, you know, how human beings are being trafficked, you know, and so as we destroy the environment, we are also sacrificing human dignity. There is also intergenerational justice. What type of world will we pass on to the next generation? You know, we are already becoming unjust to the generations that have just been born or will be born, they will suffer the consequences of our irresponsibility and abusive behaviors. The last part of the encyclical proposes very specific things that we can do now, even in the homes, like uh, uh, before eating, <laughs> uh, thank God, or be grateful, uh, you are not in your room, turn off the light. Or if there are things that you do not need and they are just being stored in your, uh, in your closet, share. Do not waste food. The food that you waste might even be food that you are, de you, that you are depriving a family of, etc. Very specific things. And for me, that's a very good link to the Year of Mercy. And the Year of Mercy is telling us, hey, wake up. And one big area is, are we sharing the goods of the earth? God created all of these goods to be shared by all. 